Hi, I'm Steve Martin and I'm lucky enough to be in the Pata Honda World Superbike pits before the start of the season. The pre-season has finished, the testing's all been done. I've got Ronald Tenkata here with me and he's the team manager of this team. They've been in this championship for a long, long time now and uh, I've got to say you've got some great results. You've won some Supersport championships. You haven't um, had a World Superbike championship since 2007 but you've been working very, very hard and if there's ever going to be a year that it's going to happen, it could be the this year because there's been a lot of different rule changes um, over the off season. There's a new Evo class, you've got a new model, the SP model this year. Um, what have you been working on in that off season to give your riders the best chance? Well the biggest thing uh, we have done is looking all over the bike so it's been fine tuning on a lot of areas of the, of the bike but one of the major parts we have been focusing on is the electronics of the, of the machine where we went to a 2x2 two two system as well now. So uh, the butterflies go two by two instead of uh, four in, in line like it used to be. Yep. Um, so it should create a lot more grip, which we experience in off season as well already. So, how how did you come up with that idea? How long did you test that system for before it was actually useful on the track? Um, the idea already came along uh, middle of last year when we started to to move slowly in that uh, that direction. Of course, you need the off season to test it. You can't test stuff like that uh, during race meetings. Um, then we were lucky enough to hire a new electronics guy with us, Massimo Neri, which comes from uh, one of the competitors of last year. Um, he's moved to us, he already worked with, with the system, so we already had an idea to go to move with the electronic package, but we also have now the man with us who already has been there, yep. so it's, it's a nice guidance now and a nice way of working through. Last question, um, engines. In years gone by, you've had as many engines as you want. Yep. This year, you've got an eight engine limit. How's that going to affect you? And um, have you got an engine that's going to be reliable all the way through? Or is it still a bit of a question mark? Um, well, it's always a question mark. No matter how much you have tested, you never know if you're going to survive with, with the eight engines. But honestly speaking, seeing the mileage we already pulled from last year and the dyno testing we have done on extensive testing and fatal error testing on parts, I think we are ready for, for the season. We did not have to change uh, so much on the engine uh, at all. Um, so it will be effectively the same engine like we used last year. There's just a few parts inside the engine who have got a different uh, treatment now uh, just to allow them to do the endurance. Best of luck uh, for this year and we hope that we see you holding that trophy up. Thank you.